We're back here in my studio page, but I'm going to jump over to playlists. Playlists are a very convenient way to organize a series of videos, whether it be for like, oh, wow, a whole bunch of stuff about how Woodland Collies can use YouTube. That's helpful. Or Google Forms. Um, or all the chapters of a book and analysis for a book. Or students are going to be choosing a song with a dystopian theme, so I'm going to put them all on one playlist. And then you can listen to them, watch the videos, and then pick uh, which one you want to analyze for your project. So there are a lot of fun ways to use these playlists, and they're very easy. So um, let's use as an example uh, the dystopian songs playlist here, which has, you know, I don't know, 90 songs or so. Um, that I use with, uh, with the seniors each year. Um, and what students can do is listen to all of these and then choose whichever ones they want to analyze uh, for the project. And if I'm searching like for a song like this one um, that I thought would be good to add to the project, first of all, I want kids to be able to watch it as part of the project, so I'm gonna approve it. And now that I've approved it, I'm going to hit this little plus sign on the list here, and that gives me all of my playlists. And then I just choose the playlist that I want to add it to, which in this case is dystopian songs. Um, you can also create a new playlist uh, if you wanted to like start a new playlist for it, enter the name and the uh, um, privacy level. Um, in this case, I'm not actually going to do that. Um, I just want to get it on that uh, dystopian song. So that's it. I just hit the, the check mark and it auto saves and boom, now that's on there. Um, close that. And if I actually go, here's the dystopian song playlist, I'm going to refresh it and then I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and see that song has been added to it. Oh, look, 93 videos instead of 94. And then if I scroll down to the bottom, boom, there's Brother George, there's that song. Um, so very easy. You can search any video. You just add it to whatever playlist you have, and it will show up on there. Uh, the only thing is to check the whether or not it's been approved um, so that the kids can actually watch it. Now, sometimes that changes from year to year. Um, things refresh. Some videos get taken down, so they might disappear off the playlist. Um, so you do have to curate them, maintain them, um, but it's a lot easier to maintain uh, a playlist from year to year than it is to you know, search for every video individually from year to year. They're all in one place, which is great. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to playlists. You can share the playlist itself, uh, which is kind of cool, um, meaning you can give a link to the whole playlist. You can also embed the playlist. So I actually embed this dystopian song playlist into on campus so the kids have access to it there, um, which is great because I can connect it right to their, their assignment, um, which is cool. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. You can change what order the stuff is in within the playlist as well. Sw swap them around. Uh, and yeah, that's the main thing. So hope that helps.